Hello, people of the internet. Today, I am Seth, and we are going to make you man eggs. Or eggs. I like to call them man eggs because they're for manly people. Okay, so, first thing you're gonna need are some eggs. I'm using two because two means double the manliness. Right? Okay. So, you're gonna want to set this burner, or whatever burner you want, I'm choosing this one, to between the four and five mark. So, there. <clears throat> and we have lemon pepper, because why not? We have a piece of garlic, and we have our cutting knife to cut the piece of garlic, because you're not going to put the whole clump of garlic in there. I mean, that's too manly, you know? And sickening, so don't do that. Okay, so we're going to put the eggs into the pan, because that's what men do. And they're making eggs. Right. Okay. Like number two. Double manliness. This is manly. Okay. The next thing. Okay, I don't. You don't have to do this, but this is what I do. I like break up the yolk. So I just mix it all together. Because that's what I like to do when I make eggs. In my opinion, of course. You can just cook these however you want, really. But this is how I like to cook them. Because I'm a bad cook and can't cook any other way. It's if like scrambled. I don't even do that all the time on purpose. I just screw up on things. Next thing you're going to want to do is cut up the garlic so that it doesn't taste like crap. Now, I'm not really experienced with cutting garlic. So I'm probably going to make it a bit too big or small or whatever. But, uh... I can always give it up <clears throat> extra try. I do apologize for my coughing and like, and I don't know a word for that, but um, I'm like feeling a little sick, you know. For like the past three days, my stomach's been hurting and it sucks. It's probably because like of the winter cold. You forget that thing where it's like you're outside in the cold, like in winter, for like freaking two hours. You go back in like right away, and it's all nice and warm, but your legs are like red from how cold it is. And it's like your body like stings or like how whatever part of you was um why am I not on the cutting board? Oh my gosh. Okay, don't do what I do. Well, not all the steps, just go on the cutting board. If you don't have one, then you know, do what I was doing before, you know, messing up. Alright? Okay. So got it. Got it. I'm pretty sure the camera can see me. I'm pretty sure. Whatever, okay. And then just cut up the onion to the pieces. Because, you know, things. <clears throat> you know, sometimes when it's late at night and no one's around and I'm in my room, I just like to watch some Naruto. I like Naruto. I like anime. I'm an anime person. The anime. Anime. <sighs> you know. Or right now I'm watching, like, Fairy Tale, which is going good because it's a freaking awesome thing. I'm on, like, episode 60-something, and I don't want to see any spoilers from the internet, so I'm hoping I don't. Right. Now, this is probably not how you should cut onion, considering that I'm, I'm like, a novice cook, you could say, you know? My mom is a chef, actually, except, you know, she never actually cooked. She just took us to McDonald's. But, you know, I like that, too. I like McDonald's. You know, except it's all crap anyway. Did you know they have 17 ingredients in their french fries? 17. Good job, McDonald's. You're doing great. Uh, even though all the bad things I hear about that place, I still eat there. Well, my dad doesn't go there, so it's usually, like, when... Other people take me here, buy me something. Like one time, me and my friend Dustin had a deal. I had five dollars, and I told him if he buys me a burger, I'll buy him something. And that's what we did. So I bought him a Pepsi, and he bought me a burger, a McDouble, which was nice. It was a little deal we made. A little, a little deal. Sorry, Dustin, if you didn't want to be included in this video, but no one's going to know who you are anyway. He's my friend, if you didn't know. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, 
Oh, there's actually one ingredient I forgot. Actually, two. Oh, God. I'm not really good at this manly stuff. I may be a man, but I forget so easily. It's not even funny. Okay. Um, where is the pepper? Did I give it away? Doesn't matter. Can we be using it? Yeah. Now, I don't have regular pepper, so I'm just going to use white, white pepper. <clears throat> so I think that'll work. I'll just get me some salt. Oh, too much. Oh, that's not good. Uh, Dad, if you're watching this video, I'm sorry for wasting some of the salt that I didn't mean to, but I'm not going to pour all of that on the freaking egg. It'd be disgusting. Oh, and if you're wondering, it's going in a garbage bag on the floor. Okay, so. Just cut up these a little bit more, and then I'd say that we can put them in. I'm going to put pieces of garlic on both sides. Not all of them on the same side. They'd be freaking sickening. All right. Then we're gonna add some lemon pepper, so you know it'll taste good. Yay! Ooh, there's a bubble in it. I'm gonna pop it. Pop the bubble. Okay. So now that you have garlic, I'm just gonna put this in. Okay, that's one side. <clears throat> um, how many loosen stuff? Spatula. Oh, it's like broken, so it's a bit weird, but whatever. God, how am I gonna flip this without like breaking up? They were they were so happy together. That's not the best looking egg, as you can see, if you can see it, but uh, manliness, so it's all good. Put some garlic on that side as well, so it doesn't totally work out. Alright, then we're going to put some more lemon pepper on this side, because we're men, and we do that. If you're a woman, of course you can still eat the eggs. It'll just make you a manlier woman. A mm -hmm. woman. A woman. That still doesn't work. Um, whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm just gonna press down a bit to make it cook a bit faster. Get a plate ready so that you actually have something to put it on when it's done. Press it down a bit longer, you know, because that's what we do. That's how we make our eggs. We make them like men. If you didn't get the point, they're supposed to be manly. You know, regular eggs wouldn't have like lemon pepper and all that, or garlic, just like salt and pepper. But that's too boring. Not enough flavor. You gotta bring it out, you know. So we use lemon pepper and regular pepper and salt and really small pieces of garlic, you know, to make it manlier. Er, yeah. I think this is going well so far, actually. It's like a flat little pancake egg. I actually cleaned this entire kitchen before I started recording, so I'm a little tired. I had to freaking like clean off like everything. Oh, there's a piece of bread cooking this. Uh, I can't save it. I'm sorry. But I have to like do all the dishes and clean up all the couches. That was fun, I guess, you know? Well, not really fun, although there was a lot of bubbles, so I used a little bit too much. And I had to put some of the bubbles in the bathtub. And then now there were some bubbles on the floor because it just kind of melted off. Melted off. Well, the water was hot, and it was like hot bubbles. I don't know how that works though, so. Okay. Okay, your man egg should be ready. Now I know it doesn't look like a lot, but you know, 
manliness can only come in small doses because a huge thing of manliness could make the little guy go insane. So yeah, I'm gonna go see if I can get my dad to taste test this. I'll be back in a moment, okay guys? Is it recording? No. Wait. Yeah, it is. Sadly, my dad could not test the egg because he's working. I mean, well, he is, but I don't know. It's like really busy. He's working at home, by the way. He works at home. That's what he does. It's pretty good. He doesn't have to really like go to work or take a bus anywhere. He just kind of, you know, goes in his Oscar the Grouch pajamas and lays on his chair working. And it works. He makes money. It's fine. So, uh, yeah, man egg. We have it. It is here before us today. And I'm going to try it instead of my dad since he was busy. But you know, it's fine. Everyone's busy. And he was like, he couldn't just stop. Like, if he could, he probably would have, but he can't because it's like super busy. So, um, oh my god. It was like laying in like a little thing of salt that I didn't even notice. Okay. Let's try a man egg. I didn't grow up using a fork and knife, by the way. I just used a fork and then picked it off. So I'm not really good at this. Okay, so we have a piece of man egg now. It's pretty good. Really spicy. Or men who can handle that. So yeah, if you if you've liked this episode of Cooking with Seth number one, you guys could suggest some things that I cook as long as they aren't too complicated. Because I'm only 13, so I can't really cook anything or everything. You know, I can bake cakes and cookies and all that, but I don't know. I can't cook turkey. You can't tell me to do that. I think the only person that can do that is like my grandma or my great grandma. Well, yeah, my great grandma because. Is dead, but you know, whatever, it doesn't matter. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And you can like and subscribe if you actually liked it. And I have other videos and all that, not a lot, I mean like five, but they're still funny and they have my dad in it, so you can see what he looks like. Alright, so, bye bye. Um, nom, 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 nom.